Ms. Moore, you purchased a dog at one point from the defendant, is that right? Yes, ma'am, I did. When was that? November 3rd, 2013. Is that the only dog you purchased from him? Yes. Male or a female? Male. You still have that dog? Yes, I do. Healthy? Yes. And nice? Yes. Great. Very happy. Subsequently, you used that male for stud? With my own female, yes. Okay, so how many Pomeranians do you have? I now have five. Do you sell them or do no, you keep them? No, I do them? not. You keep them? Yes. Okay, so you're going to be stretching your walls. Yes. And when you had your last litter of puppies, Mr. Larson expressed interest in one of your females. Yes, that's right. This little girl, I assume, right here. Yes. And you sold the dog to him for $700. No, ma'am. How that's much? not right. $500. Is that correct? That is correct. And that was in what month and year? June 2017. And Mr. Larson asked if he could make two payments. Yes. And you said okay. Yes. He gave you one check for $200 and he never paid the rest. That's correct. So after a while, you got annoyed and you drove for three hours to his house. Yes. With the intention of repossessing your puppy. Yes. And when you got there, you tried to repossess the puppy, and he wouldn't let you. That's correct. Now you are not suing for the balance of $300. You're suing for $2,500, which I don't get the equation. There's no reason for that. Or the return of the dog. I want my dog. And Mr. Larson says you can't have your dog. He's more than prepared to pay you the $300 that he owes you for the dog. So I'm going to throw the ball into your court. Why didn't you finish paying her? Uh, we had run into uh, a little bit difficult times. Um, Linda did say in text messages that um, money's not a big deal to us and that uh, it would be okay for you to pay when you can. Well, when can you? Well, when Linda did come to the house, you know, Emily is, is part of our lives. Uh, just uh, a we... second. You said in your answer that you wrote out a check for $300. Prove it to me. I had the check right here. I'd like to see it. Now, this is drawn on a bank where if we called right now, would there be $300 in that bank? Yes. So this is your payment that you owe her. Give this to the plaintiff. Now, you made her make a six-hour trip from her house to your house. Is that how long it takes to get from her house to your house? Yes. So she traveled for six hours to get her money. What do you think that's worth? Do you work? I'm retired. You reti How old are you? I'm 50. Retired from what? Uh, tugboat engineer. How long have you been retired? For seven years. So you retired when you were 43. How do you support yourself? We breed dogs. You breed Pomeranians? All types of dogs. Like what? Uh, German Shepherds, uh, Yorkies, um, Pomeranians. Has this dog ever had a litter? No. Do you intend to breed her? Actually, Your Honor, she's a little bit small to be bred. Uh, she's just part of our... Just a second. She's a little too small to be bred. That's correct. So she's not going to go into whatever breeding program you have. That's correct. Uh, she's part of our lives, and Shauna... Then you is... should have paid for her. Now you've paid for her. So you have to compensate Ms. Moore for her travel six hours to go and retrieve her dog or her money. How do you intend to do that? Uh, I could pay her a check. Well, I mean, she drove in her car. Any driver that you get, you'd have to pay 50 bucks an hour to. So she drove for six hours. Three hundred. Three hundred. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. See, I wrote that down, Bert. You did. You did good. I'm getting. <laughs> I'm almost an Einstein. <laughs> now, part of the thing that you want, first of all, this dog looks just fine. Looks well cared for, looks well groomed, looks well fed, looks just fine. I think probably part of your concern is that Mr. Larson is going to use the, your puppy in his breeding program. I don't know if he's got a mill or not, if he takes care of his dogs or not, but certainly you got a healthy dog from him in 2013.